come out and win. And the fish don't always live real long. Hmm. I, I can't imagine anyone traveling with those, so you better oh, yeah. go enjoy those goldfish I'm now. They survived the deep frying. I know, it's true. Because <laughs> nothing. There's nothing tastes better than that. <laughs> that is, used to be alive. Oh, that man. is scary yeah. because the Just stuff they there. fry all over the country, absolutely. goldfish could absolutely be deep fried Snickers. in the future. Anything fried is mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you could with deep me. fry a shoe and I'd probably. Yeah, try. me too. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Take a look at what's going to be happening out there. If you're going to be heading to the first night of the Wilson County Fair or the eighth night of the Williamson County Fair, here's what you can expect. There are some spotty storms out there. We're going to check those in the forewarned live radar in just a second. But in general, Williamson County and Wilson County both kind of in a break in between those spotty storms right now. 79 degrees for the temperature by 7 o'clock this evening. Looking okay if you can dodge these spotty thunderstorms. The best storm right now, the strongest storm going, is in northern Davidson County and southwestern Sumner County. This one's been producing about 20 cloud ground lightning strikes just within this cell within about the past 10 minutes or so. Total within the whole frame of this map is close to 30 lightning strikes in the last about 10 minutes or so, but that's not a tremendous amount of electrical activity. There's another stronger storm to the east of Portland. All this is kind of drifting to the northwest, but they're moving so slowly that they have a hard time holding themselves together. For storms to maintain their strength, they need to move a little bit, move into some more unstable air and keep themselves going, but they're moving so slowly that they're kind of just cutting off their own supply of that unstable air. Same thing for these thunderstorms in southern middle Tennessee, the strongest storm right now, right around Pulaski and Giles County. Some more spotty activity through Lawrence County over into Wayne County as well. We'll zoom back out and put everything in motion so you can see where it is and where it's going. Kind of going backwards. Everything's drifting to the west and northwest. Not a whole lot in the upper levels of the atmosphere to drive these thunderstorms in one direction or the other. So they just kind of go whichever direction they feel like going. And some of them did feel like getting pretty close to Nashville. This is the weather bug time lapse from this afternoon. Looking to the east as those thunderstorms approached downtown and went just to the east of downtown Nashville around 3.30, 3.45 or so. And the current view towards downtown still shows some ominous looking clouds in the horizon but not everybody is seeing those. West Nashville still looks just fine. Here at the station, our temperature has dropped a little bit from where we topped out this afternoon, but we're still at 80 degrees. And that dew point is back up to around 70, which is the point at which it starts feeling kind of uncomfortably sticky. The humidity is going to be climbing as well as we head into the weekend. Let's check our temperatures. Those are all over the place, depending on whether or not it's been raining on you. 85 degrees in Pegram, 83 Spring Hill, 73 in Smyrna. You had some real heavy rain in northwestern Rutherford County, southwestern Wilson County as well. 75 in Nashville officially, but temperatures around Davidson County, again, all over the place. And same thing for the area-wide temperatures. Anywhere from 73 degrees in Tullahoma to 89 degrees in Hohenwald. So it just depends on whether or not those spotty storms have paid you a visit. And that's the way it's going to be over the weekend as well. Things are going to calm down tonight. Temperatures will fall into the 70s by 10 o'clock, upper 60s, low 70s for overnight lows. The increase in humidity means an increase in those overnight low temperatures. So instead of the upper 50s and low 60s like this morning, we're going to be about 10 degrees warmer than that to start the day on Saturday. It'll still be hot, but there are going to be those spotty thunderstorms firing up as we head through Saturday afternoon. Temperatures reaching up into the low to mid 80s by noon and then getting close to 90 degrees. We see how much the temperatures are kind of wobbling around. If you just pick one spot and watch it, there's all sorts of variations depending on if one of those spotty thunderstorms gets close. It's only about a 30 to 40% chance. In fact, let's take a look at those rain chances as we head through the day tomorrow. The best chance will be the same spot as today. Southeastern and southern middle Tennessee getting closer to a 50 50 chance of rain there. But even then, it's not going to be an all day washout. Just kind of be flexible with any outdoor plans and be ready to adjust in case one of those spotty storms pays you a visit. Severe weather is not very likely as we head through the weekend. In fact, it's a low potential overall. Temperatures are going to be hot, though, starting off around 70 degrees tomorrow morning, 85 by noon and then right around around 90 for a high temperature tomorrow and still at or above 90 degrees with a slightly lower storm chance on Sunday. Any outdoor plans for the weekend? Don't go canceling anything. Again, just kind of be flexible, be ready to adjust. This is a very typical mid-August weather pattern with those scattered storms every day in the seven-day forecast. Maybe the storm chances diminishing a little bit by the end of next week.